So in order to figure out the percent of water in this particular hydrate, this is calcium chloride dihydrate, and we know it's di because of this 2 here, we first have to figure out the mass of the water, and then we have to figure out the mass of the entire compound. So we have a little background work to do. I recommend first figuring out the elements that are involved. So we've got some calcium, we've got some chlorine, and then keep water as a whole. I know it's not an element, it's a compound, but keep it as kind of a package deal. And then ask yourself how many are of each element are in the compound. We've got one calcium because there's no number here. If we look at the periodic table, we realize that calcium's got a molar mass of 40.1 grams, so 1 times 40.1 is still 40.1. There's two chlorines, because in the formula there's two, so 2 times its molar mass, 2 times 35.5 is 71.0. And then treat water as a package. So there's two molecules of water for every one molecule of calcium chloride, or you could think of it as two moles of water trapped in one mole of calcium chloride. Either way, you put a 2 here, the molar mass of water is 18 grams, so 2 times 18 is 36 and then you add it up and get a grand total. So now we know the part of every element in here, including the water, and now we know the total. So you're just going to be interested in the part that's water and then the total. Again, according to our formula, mass of water divided by the mass of the entire compound. So the mass of the water is 36, the mass of the entire compound is 147, and when you divide the two and multiply by 100, you get 24.5%. So now we know this compound's made up 24.5% of water. And you're going to do this for each of the other hydrates.